Welcome to Make It Take It Sports Betting Tips and Picks. I'm DC. I've been making videos with my college basketball picks and giving some sports betting tips throughout this season. And I get feedback sometimes when I see people or sometimes people uh, comment to me, send me a message, and they say they either want to get started in sports betting and they don't know where to start or don't know what some of the terms mean, or they just they did start and some of the terms that I'm using they don't quite understand. So I just wanted to make uh, a simple video explaining some of the terminology and some of the ways that you can get into sports betting. So uh, I'm going to start with a simple video. I might, I'll probably make a few, like a series of videos. I'm not big on, like, I'm not high tech. I just started making videos this college basketball season, so I don't do graphics and I don't have much production. I have a dry erase board, so maybe I'll remaster the videos in the future when I get a little bit better at making them. But for now, I'm going to go with this. But first of all, I'm not affiliated with any company or any sports book. I don't get referral bonuses for any of this. I'm just making videos and enjoying it because it's what I like to do. Uh, I just, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel. So that's all really I'm doing. I'm doing this for free. And the other thing is with sports betting, you'll see a lot of other people on videos or uh, companies that refer to this as uh, sports investing or some kind of entertainment or anything like that. But make no, no mistake, this is gambling. So you, it's that's what it is. I'm not going to beat around the bush on it. You shouldn't take your mortgage money or something that you have set aside for a special occasion and bet with it. This is entertainment. It's a hobby of mine. It's something that I became pretty good at over the years. But, you know, it takes time and it's not, nobody has a crystal ball and nobody wins their bets all the time. So as good as you can be at it, you're going to lose sometimes and it takes a long time to understand and be able to get where you want to be. But with that said, it's basketball season right now. NBA season's winding down. Playoffs are going to start soon. So I start, thought I'd make a simple video where if you just opened a sports betting account, which is super easy these days. When I started betting, it was, you know, you could just go on your phone now. They didn't have internet betting back then. and uh, It's a lot easier now, and you don't need thousands to get started. You can start an account with $25, $50, and bet a few dollars on a game if you want. You don't need to go heavy. And like I said, you shouldn't bet anything you're not comfortable with. So it's incredibly easy to find a sports book and get started these days. But once you fund it, your account, say you start at $50 and you don't know where to go from there. There's a game on tonight. You want to put a few bucks on it. You open your sports book. And you click on whatever sport you want to bet or look at the lines for it. So in this case, I have an NBA line up. So you go to the NBA and the first game you see, you have a few columns. You have the teams that are playing. Most of the time, the home team is listed on the bottom. And not in every case, especially in sports like college basketball. There's a lot of neutral site games. But in, in a lot of the case especially in the NBA, you're going to have the home team listed on the bottom. And then you have three columns listed here. You have the spread, the total, and the money line. And what the spread is going to tell you, if you take the Denver Nuggets minus nine and a half with the spread or the line, you're betting the Denver Nuggets to win by 10 or more points tonight. They put it on a half a point a lot of times, so there's not a tie. You either win or lose. So if the Nuggets win 120 to 110, you won your bet with the Nuggets because they won by 10. If they win 119 to 110, you lost your bet. It has to be 10 or more in this case. And if you take the Pacers, you have them at plus 9.5. So if the Nuggets win 220 to 210 and you have the Pacers plus nine and a half, 
you lost the Pacers plus nine and a half because the Nuggets won by 10. Anything within that nine points, you win with the Pacers plus nine. And of course, if the Pacers win the game straight up, you win. If, they, if the Nuggets win by three, four, or five points, you had the Pacers plus nine points, so you win there. Underneath the spread is a little number. It's usually about minus 110. This is the house odds or the juice or the vig, and it's standard. That's just that's the house fee that you pay for making a bet, and it's based on $100 increments. So that doesn't mean you have to bet 100. You can bet 10. You can bet 1,000. Whatever you're betting and whatever you're comfortable with, it's based on 100 hour odds. Keep it simple. So that means you have to lay or put up $110 for every 100 that you want to win. So when you want to win $100 and you bet the Denver Nuggets minus 9.5, they're going to take $110 out of your account. If it comes out, they're going to put the 110 back in your account plus the 100 that you wanted to win. So they're going to put a total of 210 back in your account. Or if you bet, if you want to win $10, they're going to take $11 out of your account and put back in 21 the $11 VIG and the $10 that you want in either case. A lot of times, odds change, but a lot of times it's minus 110. Sometimes they adjust based on how people are betting the game because they want equal bets on both sides. The next line we have, we have the total. What the total or the over-under as it's commonly referred to, the combined score at the end of the game, including overtime. You're either going over 234 or under 234. Same odds, minus 110. It's just simple. If both teams added up score is over that number and you bet the over, you win. If it's under, you lose. The last line is the money line. And what the money line is, is you take the spread away. You're just betting the team straight up to win the game. So if you take Denver Nuggets on the money line, it's still based on the $100 increment odds. You're going to have to put up $475 to win $100. It's $475 because they're such a big favor. So you're going to have to lay more money to take the favor. But if you take the Pacers on the money line, what the plus means is that's the plus is how much you're going to win based on 100. So for every 100 that you put up, it's going to bring you back $350. You're going to win $350. So if it's a plus in front of the odds, it's still based on 100. They're taking 100 out of your account. But they're putting back 100 plus 350 if the Pacers win the game straight up because they're the underdog. Favorite underdog. You hear me talking in my videos about dogs. Underdogs, the team getting points, plus points, plus money line. So let me know if that clears anything up for you. If you have other questions that I didn't cover or if you want me to cover something else. As I said, I just, I'm just getting started doing these videos, so I don't have much tech going on, but I welcome the comments and feedback. Good luck today.